Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So I've been a dental hygienist for about 17 years now. I currently have my own dental hygiene practice. So I see my own patients. And do you really need to floss? What is the purpose of flossing? And what do I tell my patients who are like, Andrea, I'm not going to floss ever. Believe it or not, I don't yell at them. And I don't tell them, well, you have to floss too bad. So sad, right? I don't tell them that. I love the water pick. I love the water flosser. So personally, even for myself, I don't floss every day, but what I do do every day is use the water flosser. I just purchased mine from Amazon. I'm going to leave you guys a few links down below. You can spend $30, $40, $50 max on a good water flosser. I like the cordless ones, okay? You can get the more expensive ones, but they all do the same thing. It's high pressure water. What a water flosser does is it's high pressure washer, pressure washer. Think of it like a pressure washer, okay? So that's why I'm getting tongue tied. So it's high pressured water that you have the water flosser. It goes in between the teeth. It's at high pressure, not too high, obviously, but it goes in between the teeth and it cleans in between the teeth. That is what flossing does, but in a different way. So using the string floss, as an example, you're cleaning away the plaque bacteria that's in between the teeth. Toothbrushing cannot reach that. It literally cleans away the plaque bacteria in between the teeth. Using the water flosser does the same thing. It's high pressure water cleaning in between the teeth to get rid of that bacteria. And a water flosser is so much easier. The string floss, you're like trying to get it around the finger. You're trying to go like this, trying to go like that. Even I have a hard time. If you have super tight contacts, half the time you can't get the floss in there, it gets stuck. You're trying to yank it out and that's even worse. It causes the gums to bleed. The water flosser, there's no getting stuck. There's no pain because it's just high pressure water going in between the teeth and it gets things out in between the teeth. If you like popcorn, you will actually see the popcorn kernels that are in the sink as you're letting the water run down. Like it's amazing. I talk to my patients all about the water flosser so much. I have extra ones in my car to sell to them if they want them, if they don't want to have to bother going to the store. So if you don't floss, if you're not going to floss, if you're like, no, I don't care, but your dental hygienist is telling you, you have to floss because you have gum disease. If you have gum disease, the only way to reverse the gum disease and make it better is to clean properly. So listen to your dental hygienist. If you're the unlucky one who has gum disease in between the teeth, toothbrushing is not going to fix that. You need to clean in between the teeth some way, either using the floss or the water flosser. I even myself prefer the water flosser. I have lots of videos on this on YouTube. You guys definitely do a search on my channel for water pick water flosser. Um, why I don't recommend flossing. I have tons of videos, check them out. I will talk about water flossing all day long, but a lot of hygienists don't agree with me either. They say that flossing is best. So we all have our own opinions, but when my patient's teeth and gums are getting better, just using the water flosser, that tells me right there that it's working. So thank you guys for watching. Click like if you like this video, stay tuned. There are new videos uploaded every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So definitely subscribe for some more dental knowledge, you guys. Thank you. Have a great day.